recognition of the importance that the Holy See places on the Archdiocese of Washington, the church in our nation's capital. And I am humbled and I'm grateful to our Holy Father for his trust in me as shepherd of this flock, and I renew my pledge of fidelity, affection, and loyalty to him. Yesterday, when I learned of this appointment, the church was celebrating the Feast of the North American Martyrs. And in that liturgy, we mention two of them by name, and all the rest are just lumped together as the companions. And I thought how appropriate that is in reflecting on this recognition today. Everybody in this church, all of the members of this wonderful Archdiocesan Church, clergy, religious, lady, they're all involved in the work of spreading the gospel. But you can't name and list all of them, so the church names the bishop. And I thought of that in receiving this recognition. It's really a recognition of the significance of the church here in the nation's capital. And my thoughts immediately turned to the visit just a little over two years ago of the Pope when he was here. And one of the things that he said when he went back was, I went to America to confirm them in their faith. And they confirmed me in love. I think that's a sign, a recognition of our vibrant, faith-filled, church in our country is, and I think the naming of the Archbishop of Washington as a cardinal is simply a recognition of that, a recognition of the vitality of the faith in the United States, and particularly here in our nation's capital, which is the center of our country. I had, I had the joy when the Pope was here of reminding me that not all that far from here, in 1634, first Catholic settlers arrived. The first Catholics colonists arrived in Southern Maryland. And in an unbroken line, all these centuries later, we're in communion, in continuity, with those first heroic and intrepid visitors who became the first Catholic colony in our country. And I think of the continuity that transcends even that, all the way back to Peter, all the way back to the Apostles. In accepting this honor, I renew my pledge in the words of Pope Benedict XVI to repurpose the perennial truth of Christ's gospel to the faithful and to anyone else open to hear it to anyone else open to hear the story of the gospel. Today, as the Holy Spirit is urging the church once again to renew, to renew, vibrant the call of the gospel, I simply pledge anew for my commitment to service as shepherd of this archdiocese. Thank you all for being here, and thank you for celebrating with me.